Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sajdev and today here in this tutorial we are going to play with certain images in Photoshop that is by mixing them up and changing their color tones. Friends, before we start, let me show you up the images on which we are going to work and the final output later on. See here I have three images. First is this background image. Another one is this girl. Now both the images are having different color tones. So it is little orangish and yellow and it is having normal skin tone. And the final output after mixing up the images this. See here I have also played up with the color tones of girl to match her with background. So let's get started. Here I have already opened up Adobe Photoshop CS6 and the images on which we are going to work. Say I want to have this girl on this image under the tree. Now let me have my magic wand tool tolerance ratio let me have 20 and simply I will click on white area see much of my white portion is selected what magic wand tool does is we provide a sample of selection to it and according to that sample and tolerance it selects the similar pixels now let me work on the remaining white portion. See when we select anything, here four options are highlighted. Now let me click on add to selection. It will simply add up a new selection to this selection. See I have plus sign along with my cursor. Now simply I will click here. See the portion between her legs is also selected now. Now let me have again click on the remaining portion. Now let me click here. Here also. Now still I have to select this shadow. Magic wand tool won't work here properly see uh, let me just undo control all jet control all jet now what I will do is I will have magnetic lesser tool to select the curves on her feet see I have plus sign on my cursor that is add to selection still we are selecting background portion we are not selecting girl Now the curves are selected. Now let me go to rectangular marquee tool. Plus sign is on my cursor. Add to selection is selected. Just I am selecting the remaining portion. For the curves I have used magnetic lasso to select properly. Now, as I have told you, still we have selected the white background. Now we have to select this curl. So simply I will go and have Control Shift I from my keyboard. You can go to select inverse. Now, 
I'll go to select modify smooth. Let's make our selection little smooth. Sample radius I'm providing is 1 pixels. Okay. Now, now we have selected the girl. But still we are having white portion say on her hairs. Now what I will do is go to any selection tool click on it. Here I have option highlighted refine age. I am just giving click to it. See. Now the white background is much visible. The layout I have is red layout. You can change it to any but I will prefer red one. Now I will go to refine radius tool. Radius say I will have 3. You have to just play along with it. See. The moment I click my white background is erased. Let me scroll down. So it looks perfect to me. Now let me click OK. Let me make it fit screen. Now let's just move this image on that background. With the move tool selected, just simply I will go and drag this image over there. Now we have that girl on this background. Now, now I will press Ctrl T from my keyboard to transform the selection. Or you can go to edit free transform. Now right click flip horizontal. Enter. See now we have that girl under this tree. But one thing guys. The color of both the images are mismatch. Say my background image is having yellow and orangish color. So let's match the color of both the images. With the layer 1 that girl selected. Now I will go to image adjustment color balance. I want to have yellow tone on the girl's image. So I will increase the yellow. You have to just play along with it how much you want to have. See now we have yellow tone on her image. Now let me increase little red. So that will make orangish. Just looks fine to me. Now let me click OK. See now we have image of this girl here. So this is done friends. And if you want to learn these subjects directly from me, do contact me, do subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.